Salutations, aficionados of the eerie. Welcome back to our regular tryst with the spine-chilling and the suspenseful. Today we're setting sail on the murky waters of Alan Wake 2, the sequel to a game that kept us gripped and our pulses racing. Do you recall our odyssey through the original Alan Wake? We stepped into the world of Alan, a man grappling with a realm of psychological horror and a narrative that was as enthralling as it was enigmatic. Now we're about to turn a new leaf with Alan Wake 2. Our protagonist Alan is back in the labyrinth, once again wrestling with his nightmares and striving to script his way out of them. But fasten your seatbelts because there's a twist in the plot. A fresh face enters the scene, bringing with her a novel narrative and distinctive mechanics that promise to add an extra layer of mystery to our gameplay experience. And with that being said, the mouth of madness awaits. And we are about to jump right in. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. And we're in. Ellen looks a little bit different here. It looks like he's pregnant too. Ah. This is not what I expected from this game. It's a little bit disgusting. It's kind of hard to see his face. You gotta turn really fast around him. And then you can see it for a split second. I don't like how the camera is zooming in on his ass. <laughs> Do not appreciate that. Is 
Is that a house? So this game had the mechanic of, uh, of light. When there was a light source, you used to be safe. In the darkness, bad stuff would happen. Oh, there we go. We got some light. Uh-oh. No, let's not get me. Oh, it's the good ending. I already made it. This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. are cauldron lake time to get to work
A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. So and we're the in. <laughs> Again. By a bear? Shh. I'll check out that map. Oh yeah, yesterday I watched some movies, some some YouTube videos about bears and people and bad stuff that can uh, happen. Memorizing. Hope we, we find uh up by the trees. Hope, hope we encounter some What the hell is this? You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Hang on, I gotta turn off the notifications. This is unacceptable. Okay, so I just searched the internet for a way to turn these notifications, these in-game notifications off. There is no way to turn them off. We're just going to have to live with them, uh, which is really great. I love them when I play an immersive horror game and then it goes, Bing bong! You achieved this! Well, it is what it is. Hey, We're going to have to here. live with it for now. Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. This guy looks a little bit like Max Payne, doesn't he? Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Okay, so why is one text small and the other one large? Does it mean the large one continues the dialogue? What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Huh. Would you look at that? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, waiting. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. No, I, I want to see your body. No? Okay, well, too bad. We're missing out again. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. The case board inside the mind place. Is this some sort of a detective game now? When we uh, play her? The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. So if I had this mind palace, I would call it the mind fish. I'm in my mind fish. <laughs> and we would be like underwater and drowning all the time. It would be a little bit distracting. I could never solve a case. So this guy really looks... Like uh, like Max Payne, and I think it's it's the same developer, isn't it? Isn't it like uh, Remedy Games? And Max Payne was modeled after one of the developers, I think. 
which is uh, Sam Lake, maybe? I'm not sure. All right, we're solving a case now. It feels like we're playing Sherlock Holmes. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. The case board is a mental technique that allows uh, allows Sa Saga to analyze clues and, uh, you know, we can move around. Okay, what is this? Disgusting stuff. Um, the victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Found in Cauldron Lake, 2018, some organs missing. State of the body does not match eight years spent in the lake. Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled. What, what year is it in the game? Is it 2023 as well? or It seems like there's always some... 2010, discover, so and then eight years later, discovered the next body. And if it's uh, 20... 23, that would be five years later. Murder method. Oh no, all victims reported missing in 2010. They, they were just discovered later. Uh, murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only com commonality in bodies. But not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water post-mortem. So I think we played this guy in the beginning, didn't we? Like some... Some bald... Some big boy that was uh, pregnant in the 279 month. Bruising on the wrists and legs, deep gash in the chest, heart missing. All bodies experienced bloating, yet it's common in water. Killer profile, postmortem tattooing of the body. Oh, they tattooed them afterwards. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butch but butchery butchery technique. Okay, and what are we doing now? Get to the crime scene. The, okay, nothing. We got no cases here. We can switch to the map. And what is this here? The scribbling here, does it, does it mean like it's uh, uncovered the map, I guess. It's the fog of war. The scribblings of war. And now I leave again? What do I do? This game looks pretty good, by the way. We got everything on uh, maximum graphically. Except for ray tracing. Ray tracing is uh, is off. It's just too too stuttery with the ray tracing. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. You know, there's one thing that's a little bit annoying Our in these games. It's nature. I can never look at her or or you know the, the my character from the front for more than like a split second. There has to be a button where you just... Oh, there we go, I found it. It's... it's ALT. No, it's not ALT. Oh well, it is what it is. I hope we don't get too many of those notifications. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Bright Falls record. Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage <clears throat> at the rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers at the dead of night. Sunday, an idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which has been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls Police 
have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in the state of uncertainty. Witnesses to the crime scene were visibly shaken, one of whom stated, One minute, uh, I couldn't read. Uh, one minute, uh, we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows. The next, we heard screaming coming up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we called the police and started running in the opposite, opposite direction. Said Court Mill. Another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous said, It's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly, my dog starts barking his head off. <laughs> And this psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. I don't think I'll ever feel safe in that forest again. A representative from the rental cabins who choose to remain anonymous wanted to remain, remind customers, if you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins this summer, please get in touch with us as we may need to rejigger. Rejigger? Some of these reservations based on the state of the cabin that you have rented with us. The representative went on to further remind future and potential guests of the wonderful amenities that can be found in their company's brochures and on a website, which is a real nice state of the art. My nephew made it and he exploded. Okay. So that was one of the things that annoyed me in the original games. Uh, you would just, the, the parts where you run through the woods and the enemies would just spawn in all the time, which is probably going to be a mechanic here too, but I hope it's going to be less annoying. Uh, does a hike a day keep depression away? It might be bright, sunny July, but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy month of autumn ahead. That's right, in the grand scheme of life, those dead, depressing days are just around the corner. Have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not. But for all of you thinking there's got to be another way, there's good news. Hiking has been proven to be incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health. So get out there and do it. Just don't forget a flashlight in case you get assaulted by monsters. A uh, missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place this weekend when Mrs. Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog, Coffee Bean. Uh, Coffee Bean had been missing for three days and Mrs. Smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again. When I got the call, I couldn't believe my ears, she said. I must have asked, am I dreaming? At least seven or eight times. It was actually nine times, <laughs> confirmed Ranger Stevenson, the man responsible for finding the wayward canine. It's rare that you get to give those kinds of calls, and I feel real grateful to have had the opportunity. What with all the predators out there? Usually you're telling folks that you found their dogs dead, their cats eaten, you know, and so it felt real good to give some good news. Even if Coffee Bean is in kind of a rough shape, the fur will grow back, sure, but... Well, I suppose that's all I could say about that. But his legs won't. <laughs> okay, we got last article here. Uh, Bright Falls own virtual baking champ. Little Sally, yeah, who cares? Okay, these are like unrelated. Who's the baking champ of this uh, city that doesn't exist in real life? Nobody cares. <laughs> not gonna help us with our case so what was the mind place button there we go it's a tab so are we actually solving this or is this like just you know decoration the mind place. Visiting the mind place did not, does not pause the game. Oh. Why? Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not. Oh. Yeah, just make sure you land on your back. You'll be safe. <laughs> oh. Uh, here we go. Mirror Peak. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. The inverted glory indeed. Let's hope we don't get inverted. <laughs> that would be everything but glorious.
So he's going that way. What if I want to go this way? Check the map a second. Okay, so here we... Okay, here we arrived at the parking lot. We went through here. We had a look at the scenery. Uh, this here, we couldn't go up into the rental cabins up the stairs, I think. Maybe we can walk around back. Let's find out. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Okay. I expected to run into an... Invisible wall. <laughs> Yeah, we ran into an invisible wall. At least she turned around on her own, which is more like immersive than just walking against an invisible wall. We're not meant to go that way. Yet. Did we take a, a long cut around? I guess we did. Your location. So this is another... Uh... Remember you can create... I know I can access them. I just accessed it. Mortar Falls. This powerful feat of nature will defeat. Will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and a pestle. Quite like the one... The Witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky. <clears throat> the feet of nature, so, I mean, this is like... This is everywhere in nature. I wouldn't call this a feet. I would call it a foot. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <clears throat> I'll stop with the jokes, calm down. This is a, a horror game, we can't make any jokes. We can't even see the waterfall. Like, barely, okay. Is that a... kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. My dad used to Casey say... Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. When the going gets rough, the tough... get going. Not sure where the tough get going are uh, going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. Manuscript fragments. Oh, we found some stuff. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the ooh, in the ooh place. Is this what we found here? Pistols. Oh, we don't have any. Oh, okay, it's like a resource. We have two, and we need like 18 and 12 and another 12 for the other upgrades. Alrighty then. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. There's a phone cabin here. I did not want to swap. What, 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 what is this stuff? Oh, it's the other guy talking. Uh, so we're approaching this area down here. Oh, that's the murder site. General store. There's a store here. Oh, there's there's some... Okay, so I guess that's why there's a phone cabin. There's going to be some other... Commodities. In this area. Which is a hut? Which is Laddle. Let's see if we can explore these, these other areas. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Are there alligators in here? And that looks like two fish. No, it looks like two shotgun shells, doesn't it? Uh, okay, this is weird. How do I see my inventory without going into the mind place? Oh, 
Oh, control, of course. Oh, it's a battery pack. Okay. Oh, it's for the light. Okay. We don't get shotgun shells yet. We got painkillers, the battery pack, pistol, and uh, Logan's charm. Who is it? Logan, her son? Can't go any further. Uh oh. Water's too deep. Okay. I mean, graphically, the game is pretty. Can't complain. I don't know what to think about her as a character. I mean, she's not unlikable, but uh, I hope we also get to play Mr. Wake in his own game. Here lived the Witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. And I hope this game delivers us some... Uh, no, maybe some more explanations. Not gonna stay extremely vague. This looks like a... No, it's not a box of uh, pills. We are causing a ruckus. Let's see. Okay, campsite down here. Then we got this area to explore. And then I guess we can go up and investigate the murder mystery. I do enjoy exploring in these games, so... It is what it is. <clears throat> Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and to get her a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to say in Bright Falls? Uh, Sunday. So I told her. She said thanks. I snuck out last night again. I went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here, like I always do. Instead of just sitting around, like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to back. Going to go back here tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's gonna be epic. Yeah. It was epic for those that killed him. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? We got more uh, manuscript fragments. I know things can get a little hazy. No, crazy around here. But if you're ever seeing, being scared, feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Yeah, you better write a good story this time. One where I don't die. One where I make it and uh, get everything explained, and then it's over. And then the next game is going to be Billy Wake. Or Josephine Wake. <clears throat> that is a huge tree. Witch's Ladle. Oh, the way continues here, but it's dark, so we might not be able to explore. And we can't use the flashlight yet. Witchfinder Station. And you just walk through the swamp like this? No, we can't. I mean, that's not what a normal person would do, right? You just wet your pants and then you get sick. Witch's Ladle. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after... Uh, there is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shaped, shape. And yet, there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells 
that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. <clears throat> or so it goes. We can't use the flashlight yet, so I guess we gotta get to that point in the game. It's time to... to do us some murder mystery. Let's see. Uh, so this time we're going, l I mean, left. We're going right. And we got more to read. No, we don't. Thank the Lord. Oh, that's the the murder site. That's the altar where he got, uh, you know, where where they gave he gave him the. How was it called? The Caesarian? Caesarian? And got the baby out. Oh, campsite. Wait, have I been here before? No. How do you like the knitting, hero? I had it made just for you. Okay, so this is Alan Wake, who's writing these things into the story. UFOs and you, the ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I'd finished my... Ahma, on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. I expected it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't, not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects, nothing. But when I blinked repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. So people are aware that uh, Alan Wake is writing the story or something. I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I remember... You know, the whole game story too well. Even though I played through the... Um, I think there was a definitive edition or something of the first game that released last year and I played through it. I think I might have even recorded it for this channel. <clears throat> and I think he got... Uh, he's like stuck in his own story or something. I, Yeah, let's not worry too much about it. Um, focus on the game instead. A creepy twig sculpture? It looks like a double arrow. It looks like the the fast forward button. Wonder what's inside. Confused? Follow I these look around for a way to open this thing. Steps. Wash your ho your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap.
No. It's got to be a reference to... <clears throat> the combination. Oh, now I can use the flashlight. No, not the flashlight. Stop with the stupid joke in every game. It's not a flashlight. It's a flashlight. Yeah, I can activate the flashlight. Thank you. It's not on T. It's not on L. We need to find out the button, but thanks for letting me know. Flashlight B. Of course, it's on B. And B does nothing. What? B does nothing. Oh, no. The tooltip doesn't go away. So, they're supposed to be... I think they're supposed to tell me which button to use. And it's missing. B. What is B? Oh, it's on the controller. Isn't this the controller? It's the... F okay, let's see. We got a... We don't have a T. Flashlight reload. Flashlight toggle. Oh, E. Wait, E and T do the same? Okay. So, wait. I, uh, I think I did something wrong. We don't need... This here. We can... Uh, unbind it. Yeah, I guess T is just... Oh, the fridge. <clears throat> okay, wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. And what was the last one? Take a nap. Hands, fridge. I mean, wash hands, fridge, nap. Wash hands... That's the sink. Sink doesn't have a symbol. Fridge has one on the side. Maybe we wash our hands on the, in the toilet. Oh, there we go. Two triangles. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Triangles and we need one more. Oh, so those are vertical and nap. Take a nap here on the guitar. No, that's... Oh, we got... Okay, they're tricking us with those things. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Why does she turn the light on? I turned it off to save batteries. We don't want to become a victim of assault and no battery. <laughs> now it has to be the bedroom. Uh, we got two arrows looking away from each other. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespass trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true, what if it's something else, something less natural and much more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, that it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. First drawing, waterline, real caldera is made from a volcano, lava. Second drawing, waterline, engineered structure, strange machines. 
Oh, these are the drawings. Okay. Uh, so the bed, two arrows looking away, and then we got the the vertical uh, triangles, not arrows. Uh, no. Then we go like this, and then we do that, and then we do this, and then open. It should be. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> I hate these pop-ups. And you can't turn them off. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Yeah, I identify as a tree right now. I, right, that the, when I took it, I identified as a tree. <laughs> so that qualifies. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything else. Yeah, I guess we can't get anything else. It's like a little bit of a... Uh, I guess it's... Some... Uh, you can get some bonus... Uh, some bonus loot that way. Let me check out the whole battery situation. Batteries for charging the flashlight, but... Where do we see, like... Uh, how much battery we have left in the flashlight? We don't see that. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so, uh, murder site. We explored pretty much everything except for the fog of war and this corner here. And we can't, we probably can't go through there. So we'll go, we'll explore this part here on the right. And then we'll go to the murder mystery. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Was that a yes? <laughs> nice talking to you, too. There was not a yes. Okay, there we got the murder, the murder uh, site. Locked. Where they he really gave. Don't want people coming in here. Where the bald man gave birth to the to his heart. <laughs> it was a girl. It was a boy. No, it was a heart, <laughs> and he was dead. Okay, here we are. Now it's time to stop the jokes. Wait, wasn't there supposed to be another guy here? Get lost, Anderson. Deputy Thornton. I take it. Yeah, that's me. Mulligan told me you were coming the other way. I like to come in through the back door, if you know what I mean. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing. You know, Ugh. procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Oh, Does this, this is fit gonna the be the MO of the previous murders. This is gonna be disgusting. Step one. Examine the corpse. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlock your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind place. Uh Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? So I think this is, uh, it's interesting. It's cool that she can do detective work.
she's like investigating it and Alan is I, get, I hope we get to play him otherwise I'll be really disappointed and he's writing the story and trying to change the reality <clears throat> Cauldron Lake murder scene placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation okay we did that when a key image is placed it will prompt a new question Objectives are viewable on the case board in your goals. Yeah, uh -huh. Okay, we're done here. Oh yeah, we're playing on story mode. Uh, super easy mode, because uh, we are too stupid to fight. <laughs> no, we're playing on normal difficulty. There's a uh, story, normal and hard. And we're playing the way it's meant to be played. Uh, so, am I looking at all these clues, or what is exactly happening here? I mean, I looked at him. That's clue number one. You can call it... Oh, okay. We're not done here. At least we're looking at him from hit this perspective. The, uh, from from there, it would have been... Um, <laughs> would have been a little bit scary. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. We don't want to check out this part down here. Heart found near victim. We can put it where we... Oh no, it puts it for us. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. Maybe they this were surprised. Four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved. Uh, the open question and unlock the deduction. As you advance in the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check on uh, your... I have to press enter. I can't press the mouse. The victim. Talk to someone. Oh, they're giving us clues. Find evidence to find the killers and for the, to find the victim, to find out who the victim is. Now oh, we got the lunch boxes as well. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? I have to keep the button pressed and then... What do you mean, think? What is this crap? Think. I have to put it somewhere. I have to scroll out. Okay. Um, Cauldron Lake Campground here. We're putting it... These are like different uh, areas. We're putting them... In the correct area. Found near the witch hut at Cauldron Lake, so that goes here as well. No? Uh, this has to go here, maybe. Here? Oh, you move it over the, uh, over that. Let's see. We're missing, um, a couple more. We're missing five more in this area. Uh, then we got murder, murder at Cauldron Lake. Okay, let's go back to. Who is our victim? Who killed him? To Sleeping Beauty here. Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers. No, multiple people and uh, no kill. Okay, I guess just one killed him, but the others uh, maybe held him down or something. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? 
They made a sexy Someone was movie. Drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. They made a snuff movie with him. Where they snuffed him out. Do we have any more clues? Maybe here? We got some gasolina here. Uh, let's add more. Uh, heavy blood splatter on the table. Multiple set of footprints. This goes under killers. Uh, blood splatter on the table. Why does this go under killers? No, it doesn't. Oh, it does. It's not their blood. Indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. For later. Oh, this means uh, we have to do. We have to use those when we progressed further through the investigation. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Hot diggity dog. 